Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Jay Bills, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get this look in Minecraft. I know it's pretty hard to believe that this is actually Minecraft, but uh, this is just the use of one shader and it's called Iteration T 3.0. And yeah, it's I know it's a wee bit of a tricky shader to get, but I'm going to show you guys where you can find it, where I found it myself and the settings that you need in order to achieve this look. Um, honestly, I couldn't believe it when I've, when I've done it. It just looks absolutely insane. Something that... Um, you, you know you wouldn't actually think it's minecraft unless you've seen the character but uh other than that yeah it looks insane and i'm gonna show you guys step by step where you can get the shader and the settings that you're gonna need um to achieve this look so if you want to get this shader you're gonna have to go to google of course and uh, write just iteration t 3.0 or iteration i don't think there's an n here it's a weird name but iteration t uh 3.0 and you're gonna go into this reddit post and basically um this guy right here called uh, archie archify uh, he has a drive google drive uh, linked and you know just to be safe i did download this like maybe two months ago um i've tried out two months ago none of it um i didn't get any viruses or any anything like that so it is kind of safe but it is at your own risk if you want to uh, download it or not but um yeah it says here ignition t uh, 3.0.0 modified but um you know it's the same shader uh, what you want to do is actually go back and just uh, click this thing here and download it and once you download it just drag it into your uh, shaders options or shader settings so you should be able to have it right here uh, we go into minecraft back again we go to options video settings shaders and just drag it in here and this is the shader right there i'm just going to go and reset my settings just so that i'll show you guys what um you will you know see whenever you first get it I'm going to go into the world here and I'm going to show you um, how this will actually look without changing any settings. Um, this is what you're going to get. Okay. Now, I know it looks kind of weird because I'm on a big ice block. And that's, if you want to achieve this look, you're going to have to be on this ice block. Unless you can, I'm going to show you some overworld uh, views as well, just so that you guys can actually, um, you know, see the overworld with this as well. But uh, other than that, you're going to get this look. It's going to look basic you go into the settings uh just uh in here and you go to volumetric effects and you go to volumetric clouds click on settings and then you click on clear settings and in here is where the magic happens okay so this is basically the clouds and we have the altitude the thickness coverage and density um basically you just have to kind of play around with it and see whatever you like the best so this is the coverage obviously you can see a lot has been covered more now um you can change the density to lower down slightly and just kind of like play around with it really um the altitude the higher you go um i'm not really sure what it does but it like spreads it out slightly a bit more as you guys can see uh, the coverage is a wee bit too much i'm gonna drop by one and yeah i kind of like this look to be honest uh density coverage sunlight strength uh, none of this you need to touch here you don't need to touch anything in here uh rain settings nope none of this is as well uh you can go to I think it's a uh, plane clouds. You go to plane clouds and you can actually um, play around with this as well and see what it does. But I think it's like these clouds right there, just above the volumetric ones. Uh, you know, what? I'm going to actually, maybe that's too much. Let's see. Let's lower down and see what's going to happen. Um, yeah, okay. I think that looks pretty good. Um, then we're going to go into the lighting settings, light source, and this is where the magic happens. Okay. So we go to sun path rotation. And I like to move it towards like around 74. Let's see, minus 74. And <laughs> you can just already see, guys, this looks insane. Um, you could actually do this before you do the clouds, to be honest. And then you can actually adjust it. So uh, if we go back to volumetric effects, volumetric clouds, clear settings, uh, we can actually maybe reduce the coverage by one more. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then you can actually see where's the... Okay, so we've done all this then we can actually go to cloud speed and we can move it maybe to let's see 10 yeah and that looks that looks insane uh, if you go to 100 that's going to be obviously a little bit too fast it's like <laughs> it's like it looks like you're doing like a speed uh, time lapse kind of thing but it looks pretty cool uh, let's drop it to 15 maybe yeah i like that and um i think that will be it guys i think that's uh how you get this view in minecraft make sure that you're also on an um ice block the rest of the settings you don't need to touch 
just the volumetric sound or vol volumetric settings and you should be able to get something like this uh, you can also change uh, make sure the time set is to 10d and this is the time right now you can change it to time set 1200 and you will get the sun this way and it also looks pretty good if you set time set to day uh, obviously it looks a little bit different it's not as like red and warm but you can just kind of like play around whatever to two uh, let's do another one let's do noon yo this looks actually really good as well also if we look down you can see kind of like this blur effect you can see it right there so make sure you're just looking straight and you got this insane view of minecraft so let's put it back to time set 10 d and press f5 like you can just literally like look look how insane this looks um, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the overworld to see if this uh, is going to look any different. Okay, so I'm in the overworld and it looks pretty good as well. It is slightly dark because of the time, but if we just set it to day, I mean, the clouds still look pretty insane. Um, they might be slightly too fast, actually. Let me just go video settings, shaders, uh, volumetric effect, volumetric thing, and let's change it to bit 4. See if that's going to change anything okay okay that looks pretty good and yeah you get really realistic clouds with this shader um yeah i know a lot of people are struggling on how to get this shader uh just use the reddit post there might be and um, there will be a link down description below as well if you guys want to just get it from there but other than that it looks pretty good let's see time set 1200 and yeah i know it's like modified a little bit uh on the shader it says it's modified but um I mean, it looks it looks pretty good. Uh, I think that's the original. I'm not I'm not really quite sure. Maybe it's been modified slightly, but yeah, it looks pretty good. And that's basically on how to get this look in Minecraft. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.